All right, we are just uh, getting up and going live here. And uh, I know some of you are in the chat already. Uh, drop us a line if you can um, see us and hear us okay, so that we know we've got a good stream going. And uh, we'll wait for that. Thanks for being in the chat already, everybody. Appreciate it. It looks like we're up. Um, Roger on Bull says Mark McGrath. All right. And uh, so this is a live uh, video broadcast and chat. So um, we do have moderators in the chat. This is out to the public. This isn't just for patron members only. This is for everybody on YouTube, this one. So our moderators are in there, and uh, you have my full permission. If there's any trolls that jump in, just uh, don't even argue with them. Just boot them. Uh, uh, ban them permanently right away. What's that? You're out of here. You're out of here. Knock them out. <laughs> we have pretty good luck because the trolls know that, and uh, they've all pretty much been banned. But once in a while, we get one in there. So moderators that are in there, please feel free um, to boot them out. And uh, with that said... When you say we get this episode rolling, huh? Yeah, buddy. Lurch? Yes? Do you want to ride longer? You know I do. Are you tired of a sore and achy ass? Of course. Then fix it with a high-quality butt buffer seat cushion. Head over to lawbindingbiker.com forward slash store and check out our full line of butt buffer seat cushions. We got us an email here. Hmm. Why don't you do this, Lurch? Uh, this one is from Kenny Hewitt. He says, hi, Ryan. I have an older HD. It's actually a 2008 FLHTC Ultra. I just upgraded the speakers to the Hogtunes 2 ohm speakers, and I watched your video last week that showed the ins and outs of changing your factory speakers. It was a great video and simplified my installation immensely. I want to thank you personally for your videos you produce and share with everyday guys out there. I appreciate it very much. Well, that was very nice, Kenny Hewitt. And what a great email for the topic that we're going to be covering today. Uh, how did he get a hold of us? How did he do that? Forward slash contact. Mm -hmm. Lawabidingbiker.com forward slash contact. Uh, there's a contact form over there and uh, you can leave us, drop us a line and it may make it in an episode or ask us a question or say hi. Again, lawabidingbiker.com forward slash contact is how he did that. All right. Oh, so here's the deal. Here's the dealio. So you're ready to go on a motorcycle trip and you see something in the law abiding biker store and you're like, I need that in my life. I need it in my life. But you reach in your pockets, you pull out, you got a dime and some lint. You got no coin, but you want that thing. Don't worry about it, Lurch. You know why? Because Why? You, you can live the American dream and you can buy it right freaking now. That's oh, right. I like it. With shop pay installments, guys. That's right. You now have the option to buy products right now, knowing you can pay in four equal payments, interest free. And I know they just added monthly payments too, because we just uh, added that to our store. So you can even do monthly payments. There is an interest on that, but you can go out monthly. So whatever you need at the Law Abiding Biker Store, we got your back with shop pay installments and we appreciate everybody taking advantage of that. All right, Lurch. Yeah. You want to know how to have a fresh smelling and squeaky clean butt before riding? Uh, I'm not sure if I want to know. Well, I'll tell you how. Well, you're going to anyways. Get hooked up with dude wipe wet wipes. Yeah, that's right. Oh, Lurch. Mm. Your butt will smell like a breath of fresh air. Say what? Your butt will smell like a breath of fresh air. Okay. All right. And we're currently testing the mint version. And when I fart, it smells like mint. It, it mint did smell. I walked not, by and I was cross crop dusting and it smelled like mint, didn't it? Mint scent, not mint flavor. It makes you fresh and clean. Support us and head over to lawabidingbiker.com forward slash fresh dash butt, B-U-T-T. -T. No additional cost to you, but we do get a small commission if you click through and make a purchase. And we're testing all different types of dude wipes, but we're currently stuck on the mint ones. And I'll be quite honest, Lurch, I don't know if I, it, it's so fresh and tingly. It's like a, it's like a breath mint for your ass. <laughs> I'm, just, <laughs> I'm serious. So you're not looking forward to uh, 
testing out the unscented version. I don't know if I want to. I, I, I'm going to do it for the audience because we got to test stuff here at the well, studio. Well, you don't be wasteful either. We've got to pack in there. Right. And I'll test them, but I, I'm not, I'm just going to say I might be uh, uh, going back to the uh, mint ones. Again, lawabidingbacker.com forward slash fresh dash butt, B-U-T-T. We got a voicemail. Let's see what, let's see who's calling in. Let's see who's calling in right here. Hey, buddy, I just uh, picked up on your um, YouTube channel and your, your podcast, and I couldn't be more pleased with the, uh, the content and, you know, just the general, you know, energy from it. Man, you've got a really good thing going, and I've been riding for, I don't know, we're about the same age, probably as long as you. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I just want to give you a, a big thumbs up, man, and um, I'm going to look into your patron stuff and see if I can get signed up for that. You're doing a great job, but... Uh, my name's Mark Johnson, and uh, I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, if you're ever out this way, uh, anyway, I'll, I'll look for you. Thanks so much for what you do. Bye-bye. Shout out Mark Johnson of Charlotte, North Carolina. You want to know how he did that? How do he do that, Lurch? Uh, I'm going to say forward slash contact again, but he was uh, using his built-in speakers from his computer. It's that easy. That's right. From anywhere in the world for free, you can leave us a voicemail. We'd love to hear your voices. We got the platform. We want to get your voices on here. Even a simple email like that, a thanks. We appreciate it. We work really hard here, so we love the feedback and those emails. Oh, yeah. Once you've had Rick Rack, you'll never go back. The Ultimate Motorcycle Luggage Rack Solution. Forget those messy straps and bungee cords. Go strapless with a Rick Rack Quick Attach Luggage System and Quality Bag. Head over to lawabidingbeggar.com forward slash store. Get hooked up now. Mm. Hey, Bikeholics, Zero 3D has a wide variety of innovative products for your Harley Davidson and a brand new line for the all new Honda Goldwing named Gold Strike. I like gold. Top quality, affordable chrome lighting and comfort products. Zero Gold Strike are the LED lighting innovators for CAN bus plug and play system compatibility. Head over to lawabidingbeggar.com forward slash store and check out our full line of Zero 3D products. Oh, you guys are here. Mm, you guys are here. Appreciate it so very much. Welcome back, you freaking bikeaholics. That's right. This is the podcast for the motorcycle majority. The Big MM, also known as the... 99%. Large and in charge of the motorcycle scene more than any time in history by being here and watching and listening. You're part of what we call the hashtag... Biker revolution. That's right. We do have just one question before we get started. What are you waiting for, bikeaholics? Mount up and let us take you on another wild-ass ride. Oh, yeah. That's right. Ryan Erlacher here, your host of the Law Biting Biker Podcast and your... High-tech redneck. And there he is right there. Lurch in the house. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have got a great episode for you guys today. We are going to break down um, all kinds of different stereo systems. We, we're always doing them here at the channel. And we'll get more involved in it, but we're going to talk about a most recent one, a Boss Audio install. We've got Hardy Davidson Stage 1 and 2 kits. We've got J&M, Rockford, Fosgate, Hogtoon, Soundbaggers, and we're going to break this all down for you. We've got uh, a lot of content that we're going to pack in today. All aftermarket systems, well, except the uh, Hardy branded uh, one, of course, the uh, uh, Boom Audio Stage 1 and 2 kits. But nonetheless... Uh, we'll break all that down for you. We'll give you our experiences. We've installed all of these systems, and uh, we're going to kind of key in more on Boss Audio today just because it's our newest system, and it's pretty amazing. But uh, you'll have to hang on and um, uh, to hear all that. Now, I do want to mention this is live public broadcast, and we do these every, every once in a while. We're doing them more here in 2022, but we do these all the time, but they're mostly for our private patron members only. Um, live video broadcast and chat. It's just like this, but it's for members only. Um, so there's no better time. Get hooked up as a patron member. Link's already in the description below this video for you. Um, but anyways, we are doing it live, public and all that. And we've got a lot of people in the chat. And so we are throwing more of the public ones out there uh, this year. I just wanted to mention that. Now, we love our sponsors up front. They are amazing. And they are the reason this podcast is still going after nine years, guys. Uh, but uh, we also want to thank these people are really the biggest reason that we're still going after nine years. And they're some of our newest patron members. Let's start off with David Dully of London, United Kingdom. 
Scott Nelson of Annadale, New Jersey, and Carson Jorgensen of Glossrop, Denmark. Cal Kinger of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Shout out Canada. Yeah, you betcha. Sure, you betcha. Crystal Holler of Kalispell, Montana, and Gorn Voss of Croatia. You, you skipped one there. John Yand of Piqua, Ohio. Doug Partridge of Saranac Lake, New York. He's top tier. And Greg Stetzel of Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. LawbitingBiker.com forward slash Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Pledge a certain amount per piece of content. No risk to you because you can put a monthly cap. There are benefits such as t-shirts and stickers. Private to the, or excuse me, access to the private Facebook group, which is a troll-free zone. It is nothing but bikers helping bikers. This is absolutely the best motorcycle forum on the interwebs. Access to live video broadcasts and chat like this. Mm-hmm. Access to premium videos up on request, podcasts early, and access to those ride, meetup, and events. You were testing me there. You went out of order on the uh, yep. the patrons Keeping there. you on your toes. I got all Oof. this stuff to run. You just got to sit over there and drink your coffee, so I got to keep you <laughs> on your toes. See if you can handle the pressure. I'll have a sip as we're talking. That's right. See if you can handle the pressure. All right. So um, thank you to those patron members. And again, if you want access to this kind of stuff, um, we do it all the time, but for member only. Mm. So with that said, let's dive right in uh, here, Lurch, to our main topic, and that is uh, the uh, the Boss Audio System. We're kind of getting, like I say, focus in on that um, because it's a recent install that we did. Um, it's our most recent, and but we're going to be comparing it to some of the past systems to make you know to to tie it all together. I guess make and some comparisons, make some comparisons, pricing, and give you guys an idea of you know, maybe what will work best for you for an aftermarket stereo system, because there are so many of them out there. Um, and if you want to see our most recent video, um, I just want to say that 95% after nine years, 95% of our content is completely free um, to the biker community. We do sell a few videos to help keep the lights on. We have bills to pay. It costs a lot of money to put out nine years of free content and we have all this upgraded gear. Anyways, I'm not going to get into that. Um, but this particular boss audio install video is a paid video less out of 570 videos on our YouTube channel. We have less than 24 purchase videos. So that puts it in perspective and plus 300 free podcasts nearly. So, um, and all the articles and emails we answer and all that kind of stuff, but it is a for purchase and, uh, it's very detailed as you would expect premium quality in 4k the best angles it's like you're right there wrenching with us step by step without skipping any steps anyways the link to that video is there um, and we also sell the boss audio right in the law abiding biker store it's also in the description below the video um, because we liked it so much we actually brought it right to the law abiding biker store we're going to tell you why we like it so much and our experiences with it so um all right lurch where do you want to start with that Let's talk about which system we installed and all that kind of stuff on Boss Audio, the one that we're selling in our store and kind of what its fitment is and what it's about. Yeah, so last fall, uh, Colin from uh, Boss Audio, their marketing uh, guy, reached out and wanted to know if we wanted to review Boss Audio. And honestly, I had never heard of Boss Audio up until that point, but I thought, sure, why not? Send it on over. Uh, we've got we've done plenty of installs, so I think we'd be pretty good judges of if, if it's a decent system or not. And what he sent us is their um, BHD3F kit. And it's a pretty neat kit. And, and the way they've put it together from a manufacturing standpoint, I think is what helps them keep their price down quite a bit. Because this is a, a kit that fits several different bikes. So it's got, um, well, just to kind of tell you what it does fit, it fits 90, 1998 Electra, Rogue Glide, and Street Glide motorcycle, 98 and newer. Uh, and then it's got speaker grill. Um, options for the 98 through 13 Electra and the 2014 and up Street Glide and the 2015 and up Road Glide. So on some of those other models, you'd, you'd just have to use your own stock speakers. But it comes with an amp, two speakers, all the wiring you need for the different models, and then speak, several different speaker grill combinations all in one kit for a really reasonable price. And uh, we got the opportunity to finally get it installed a few weeks ago it's been a few weeks now right yeah we mm -hmm. put we put this system in a 17 street glide and uh, it was you know with all the the systems the the instructions can be a little bit uh, difficult and uh, and confusing but with our video we break it down step by step and make it really easy for you 
Um, but the we I, we found it to be really good quality stuff and all plug and play. I mean, you don't have to splice in your stock wiring or anything like that. They've got um, plug in straight plug in adapter, so it truly is a plug and play system. Um, <clears throat> and uh, we also show in our video how to put it in a bat wing fairing or a shark nose fairing. Yep, it is very detailed, guys. Um, we had both uh, bikes, a road glide and a street glide. And if you see the picture uh, on this live stream, the cover art, or you go to that web article I just posted in the live chat, uh, it is, we took both bikes apart. So it doesn't matter which bike you have. We did it the same on both bikes because the amps install different and the wiring's similar, but it's a little bit different. And you guys know from our videos, we are so detailed. We not only explain where the wires go, but why they go where they go. And it's a, I'm very proud of it, um, as a production, the production value on it and, uh, guaranteed. I'll tell you this, we like the boss audio, um, and we're going to get more in depth with that. But I will tell you that like all the stereo systems that we've installed, this is no exception. The paper instructions are horrid and, um, we like boss audio, but these companies, they just expect you because they they know it. They don't write the instructions well. They just expect that. And I'm telling you, had we not had experience with installing a lot of stereo systems, um, the instructions, people would have been pulling their hair out and or so. trying to call Boss Audio. So <laughs> trust me, if you get the Boss Audio from our store, there's a link to get the video with it. Um, I would highly, and I'm not just saying that, uh, if you're not completely familiar or you haven't installed a lot of systems on Harley's, it's really easy once we show you, but trying to decipher through the instructions is a pain in the ass. We figured it all out for you, and uh, we put it in that video again, step by step. So, uh, with the Boss Audio and the other ones that we've installed, um, some of the things will say like you know install mounting bracket with uh, with the, with uh, included hardware, but they don't actually point out which hardware you're supposed to use. So, like you said, luckily we've installed a lot of systems and. I was a stereo nerd all the way back into high school and was messing with stereos for years. So we were able to figure it out. Yep. Um, so the, the, the two speakers that it comes with are a six and a half inch, um, 300 watt full range speakers. And they are a, quite an improvement over the stock ones. You can tell when you're just looking at the two, the, the quality of the cone and the, the magnet and all that. And it also comes with a 600 watt, uh, four channel amplifier. At this point, this kit is just a front, uh, speaker setup. So just speakers in your fairings, but it is a four channel amp. So you would be able to add speakers to the rear. Now they do sell, uh, boss audio does sell some speaker, um, some saddled bag, sp uh, lid speakers, we, which we hope to do an in install on in the future may start carrying it. But at this time uh, they don't have anything for the ultras, but because the amplifier is a four channel amp, it should be a pretty easy solution. Plug in the, the, the speaker wires and run back to the back. So uh, I did reach out to Colin, told him if he could, if he knows what speakers or they come up with one, let us know. Um, and I, you know, when, when we, it, so it's pretty easy installation for the most part, especially if you have some <laughs> for us, it, for us, if you have some experience, but again, watch the video, it'll make it easy for you. Um, but one of the, one of the challenging parts was, uh, getting it flashed. So the way they have that it set up, uh, they're using high level inputs, meaning they're taking the sound right out of the stereo that is meant to go to the speakers and putting it into the amp instead of like a, a, a line level input, like an RCA or something. So it's high level input and then it goes back out to the speaker. So essentially they're putting the amp in line of the speakers. You're just um, taking the, the line from the stereo uh, into the amp and then from the amp out to the speakers. And when you do that, you have to be able to um, dumb that that signal down, that, that uh, EQ curve down, because it's just way too hot. It won't give you very good audio. And uh, when we did my system, which is the um, the Harley-Davidson Stage 2 boom system, and we had it on your Rogue Glide, on my Rogue Glide, 2015 Rogue Glide, we took it down to our local dealer and had it flashed. And I recall uh, when they did that, there was a box that you could check to turn on or turn off the Harley-Davidson stock EQ curve, which, again, is too high for many systems uh, when they do line level into the amps. And Harley uses Digital Technician 2, which is their proprietary software that they can get into the boom box. And uh, we took it, so we took, uh, and, and I knew this system had to be flashed. Disclaimer first, Harley will not flash. Yeah, I'm getting there. Okay, all right. Yeah. I, but you're, okay, yeah, I just yeah, wanted yeah, to make sure. I'm working that direction. So 
Um, Harley will not do that anymore. Our local uh, shop here quite often will hook us up because we're in there quite a bit. And uh, the technician said, D guys, I can't do it anymore. They've taken that ability for me to take that EQ uh, curve out. And he hooked it up and showed us. And sure enough, there's no ability for Harley Davidson e anymore with the uh, digital technician two to remove the stock EQ curve. And the mothership told dealerships that they're not supposed to be flashing there. Technically we got some connections, but there, we just wanted to see if it was still there that they're not really supposed to be flashing aftermarket systems. They want to lock you in to the boom audio stage systems. Yeah. So in order to flash this system, you have to go with the, um, um, techno research tool. And uh, the closest one for us was either um, down the Tri-Cities or over on the west side around Olympia area. Um, and the guy that does it here in uh, town, uh, V-Twin. V-Twin Cycles, Cycles out of R R uh, Richland, Washington. Mm -hmm. Shout out. He hooked us up and did it for free for us. If you live anywhere in the area, hit him up. Yeah, very knowledgeable. Uh, he was able to hook it up. And it, in fact, we had gone back and forth on the phone a little bit. And he says, you know, I currently don't have any boss audio downloads in this digital technician too but i knew from he, well between his experience and ours installing rockford fosgate system in a bike that also had this have the same um you know the eq curve flattened he says i think the rockford fosgate one will work but he went he's a great guy he went back and forth with um techno research and found out that yeah the the uh, one for the rockford fosgate that the flash would work for that that takes away that eq curve so mm -hmm. Uh, at this time of this podcast, Boss Audio doesn't have their own uh, download in Techno Research, but uh, you can use the Rockford Fosgate. Mm -hmm. And we show you how to do that in the video. We actually show you in digital tech, or uh, excuse me, in Techno Research, how to do that um, and which one to get and how you flash it. Um, but uh, Lurch mentioned it. Techno Research is just a tool. Um, they do a lot of different type stuff, dyno stuff and all kinds of stuff, but they have made software for it, but uh, you don't want to buy it because it's pretty expensive. Uh, you can just get on the Techno Research website and you can search for your nearest Techno Research um, dealer and uh, find they're all over. And I think it was a buck and a quarter, 125 is what normally he would charge. He gave it to us for free. Uh, so you got to put that price, just remember, on the top of the price of the stereo system. Um, just uh, disclosure up front there. You're going to have to do that, um, add that to the price. And it that fee is going to vary from location to location, depending on what they, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be happy if it was any more than 125. It takes about less than five minutes, but they've got to pay for the software. That's why they charge you because they got to pay fees to keep updated software. We might get the software around here eventually. We've talked about it, but we'll see. Um, it's gotta, and, we got to do enough downloads to make it worthwhile. Right. Um, and uh, I've, I was having a blank on Tyson's name, but Tyson's the owner there of City V Twin. Great guy. Yep. Very knowledgeable. Uh, showed us, you know, the techno research and all the other things it could do. So, um, like Ryan said, it's pretty easy. Just get on uh, techno research's website. And there's actually a link in the instructions from Boss Audio that'll take you to a map to find your closest uh, techno research uh, dealer. There you go. We'll come back with a little, with uh, a lot more here. Lurch. Hey, Bikeaholics. Ooh. Oh, I cut you off. Searching for new and exciting motorcycle products? Zero 3D has the products you dream about for your bike. Check out their wide variety of innovative products for Harley Davidson, Honda, Goldwing motorcycles. Zero 3D has got your back with chrome and black parts, lighting, and other comfort products. No modifying, cutting, grinding, or welding for an easy installation. That equals less time installing and more time riding. Zero 3D has a design team of riders with over 40 years of experience with a passion for design and innovation. Zero and Goldstrike are the motorcycle LED lighting innovators for cut can bus plug and play assistant compatibility. They pride themselves on great customer service. Got a question? Get in touch with them. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, right, what you can't see is Ryan's changing tabs on me in the middle of my spiel here. Uh, get in touch with them via sales at zero3d.com or give them a call at 715 808 0027. Check out your local Harley or Honda dealerships and ask for Zero or Gold Strike parts. Scroll up for me, bud. A new leader has emerged, so check out Serial 3D's custom line of Gold Strike products for the all new Honda Gold Wings. Better yet, help support us and head on over to lawbindingbiker.com forward slash store and check out our full line of Serial 3D products. I couldn't believe you haven't memorized that by now. The, Close. At least the next line. You could have winged it, dude. You could have winged it. Yeah. You get, you get what you pay for. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, guys. So uh, let's talk about this Boss audio system in a little more depth. Now, it is pretty much plug and play uh, 
for the most part. I guess it is. There there was no soldering, but I do remember the main wire uh, p- power harness that goes back to the battery. So in the video, guys, we're going to show you how to, we're going to do a comparison at the end too. And if you watch our video, um, at the very end of the promo video is actual sound tests with decibel meters. We'll get into that okay. a little bit later about where it was hitting compared to some other systems, but we're going to show you how to remove that fairing, the fuel tank and get access to the wiring trough and get back to your battery and, and all that in the tutorial video, should you uh, purchase it. Um, but it's, uh, let's talk about pricing on this. Should we go there? Oh, I know where I was going. The The battery um, terminal, you do have to strip a few wires, um, no big deal. And you've got to plug them into the right ports on the plug that goes into the amp. Yeah, when, when it comes, it comes without the uh, plug attached to the end of the wires to plug into the amplifier, which truthfully is nice because you've got to run those wires up the trough yeah. and through the fairing and get them to where you need them to be. But it is simply just strip off a little bit of uh, the wiring and then um, set, put push it inside of the uh, plug and tighten down um, a, a clamp essentially to to lock it down. So pretty simple. Not, not, yep. not, not, not nothing too technical. And we go over it in our video in of detail course. so you get the right wires and the right plugs and very close up shots and everything like that. And the nice thing about our videos is they stream just like a YouTube video. You can watch them as many times as you want for life as on any device with a good internet connection. So most guys just watch the video as they're installed and they pause it and then they go to the next step and then they pause it and they go to the next step and pause it. We've had a lot of people send us pictures uh, of them actually using our four purchase videos to do all different kinds of projects. Um, and uh, it's nice to see their computer next to their bike and our law abiding biker video up there. And that's over at lawabidingbiker.com forward slash buy videos, B U Y videos, lawabidingbiker.com forward slash buy videos are all our premium videos, handlebar installs and stereo installs and all that kind of stuff, guys. Um, oil changes, services, again, less than 20 uh, videos out of the 570 on the YouTube channel that are uh, for purchase over there. We've also got our documentary films. Don't forget about those too. Mm hmm. Lawabidingbiker.com forward slash ride dash now is access to all the documentary films, guys. All right. Uh, overall, um, if you had to give this uh, system a rating, regardless of the instructions, because we know those suck. They do on, on most systems. Compared to the, yeah. they do. Everyone we found uh, have been hor- horrid at some point. If companies were good at making instructions, we wouldn't be able to sell these. Videos. Right, yeah, yeah. We would need to figure it out for people and make videos, yeah. no doubt. We we pulled our hair out so you don't have to. There you go. We got Lurch is getting less hair to pull out, if you noticed. It's getting thinner and thinner the older I get. It is, dude. Uh, but we like Ryan mentioned earlier, we show you on both the road glide and the street glide. Um, truthfully, installing a system on a road glide is a little bit easier because all you have to do is pop off the grill, uh, speaker grill covers and take out the four screws and swap out your speaker it's pretty simple with the the uh, batwing fairing you have to take the pods out a little more involved um, but again in our video we show you where all the bolts and screws are and we make it easy for you but uh, just as a road glide owner uh, there's another there's just another good reason to get a road glide mm-hmm. yep it is a, a bit easier install because um, you don't have to speak to yeah, speaker pods and all that kind of stuff um, for sure on that particular install so there you go you're going to try to get me a one to ten yeah compared to some of the other systems we've is it right in line or i think it was a a bit more me personally just because it wasn't all completely i guess it is plug and play i shouldn't say it's not it's it's plug and play no doubt about it you're not cutting wires and having to splice into stuff uh they've made the connections for you that plug right into your you're basically splitting your speaker wires you just unplug them and plug in your input and plug in your output so pretty straightforward when it comes to that um you from one to ten like ease of install or or how i yeah. like the system ease of install we're not talking about okay. how we like it yet okay um 10 being the easiest or yes one okay. being the one being horrible uh one being the easiest and 10 oh, being okay the wor- the hardest install um i would say i wouldn't call it the easiest but it wasn't hard i would say three that's what she said uh about a three yeah okay yeah Somewhere Fair enough. There. Lurch and did the install. Uh, I was filming, the, doing all the filming on this one. Um, so, yeah, fair enough. A three out of 10, guys. And uh, with the video, it'll be a one out of 10. Absolutely. There you go. 
All right. Um, but I also have, like I said, mentioned earlier, a lot of experience in s- installing stereos, yes. cars and motorcycles. So um, take take that uh, rating with a grain of salt. That's from based on my experience. Yep. Very good. All right. Uh, so here, let's talk about, um, we'll talk about all the video. Let's talk about cost. Okay. This and is a very affordable system for what you get. That we were surprised. Yeah. Um, all up front. Um, we got this from Boss Audio and I am going to and never having heard of them, right. I wasn't really optimistic. Yes, not optimistic. Right. I just I didn't never heard of it, didn't know. You know, some of the some of the systems we we've done in the past I knew the names of and um so with this one, I wasn't sure. You know, we we give you a true uh, review, and if we don't like it, we we don't recommend it. Uh, with this one, we were so impressed with it that we decided to carry it in our store. We're able to get it through one of our distributors, so we've added it to the store. And for the price right now, it's five sixty nine in our store. In our store for uh, in stock, guys. I just put a link in the chat to it. For that price, the sound is clean, and it is loud. I mean, it hurts your ears loud. And uh, the nice thing about this amplifier is it's got uh, high pass and low pass filters built into it. And if you don't know what those are, those filter out either the the low range or the high range. So uh, your motorcycle stereo system, unless you had subwoofers or something, is not really meant to kick out a lot of bass. Mm-hmm. You you might get like a drum kick bass, but not like you know rap music or deep you know uh, bass from a guitar. You're not gonna you're, it's not gonna vibrate the shit out of you. It's, mm-hmm. it's just not what's meant to. A motorcycle stereo. You got to be able to hear it at yeah. speed, and so uh, at 70, 80 on the freeway with the full face helmet, um, the system can be heard. And uh, they try to keep it clear. Ster- motorcycle stereo mm-hmm. systems, unless you're one of those guys that ride your bike just from here to shows, and you want to sit there with you know lid speakers and bass yeah. speakers, and that's not really how you're going to hear it in the wind. It's going to be too muddy. So they keep the uppers, the highs and mids um, crisp in most of these audio systems. That's how you tell it's a motorcycle audio system so that you can at least hear it at speed. So with that high pass filter, that means that you're actually cutting out a lot of the low bass. So you can adjust that. So you only get clean bass through those speakers. It won't distort, won't sound muddy. And what we did with uh, this amp is we cranked it up to full volume and it's got a uh, input gain um, dial. And you just keep turning that we'll up. We'll show you in our video how to do all, we'll, we'll show them in yeah. the video how to do this. We give you the exact settings on the amp and how to adjust it for optimum sound. You just turn it up until you, it starts clipping. And then you adjust your, your gain and you adjust your bass. And you will be able to turn that stereo up all the way uh, without any distortion. And it's it's loud and clean. And for 569 bucks, as compared to some of the other systems we'll talk about here, I, it's a hell of a bargain. And that's kind of what Boss Audio um, their claim to fame. I mean, that's kind of what they, they rely on, or that's their motto. Um, you, if you go to their website, they'll, they say that they make good audio for a reasonable price. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you my opinion and some of the things, uh, initially when we got it and then after install. And then when I heard it, I'm going to break it down for you guys, um, and give you my opinion. Are you searching for the easiest and quickest detachable luggage system for your Harley, for your Harley, for your motorcycle? Rick Rack has just what you're looking for. Forget those frustrating straps and bungee cords and come loose and slap your paint. Slap your paint! Check out one of Rick Rack's awesome quick attach luggage rack systems. This father and son team designed something really special you can't find anywhere else. Yep, these guys ride, so they truly understand the needs of bikers. The Rick Rack quick attach system is strong, durable, and secure with a lockable system. Also, check out their full line of quality touring bags to accompany your quick detach system. Once you use Rick Rack, Rick Rack, you'll never go back. What are you waiting for, Bikeaholics? Head on over to the Law Abiding Biker store and check out our full line of Rick Rack systems and bags. LawAbidingBiker.com forward slash store. There you go, guys. And we will be rocking our Rick Rack systems heading out uh, this year um, on a long trip uh, to Minnesota. And uh, we have ridden those Rick Rack bags over thousands and thousands and thousands of miles on so many bikes. And I do want to say one thing about the Rick Rack. You guys got to get in our store. A couple of months ago, they came out with a new roller bag. So not only can you have your bag off in 10 seconds from your luggage rack, 
it's got the handle and it's got the wheels on the bag. It's all comes in a package. Make sure you order it from us guys. It'll come put together, all put together. You don't have to do any installation. You get the kit. It's ready to rock and roll when it shows up, get it out of the cardboard box and uh, bam. And uh, we'll uh, get it to your lickety split because we've got them in stock ready to ship to you guys. That's the uh, Rick rack uh, quick detach roller bag and system. You'll see it over in the law abiding biker store. Okay. So we initially got the, uh, boss audio. And again, I hadn't heard about the company. There's so many stereo companies out there, uh, motorcycle and some are kind of in it and kind of not boss audio makes a lot of audio stuff. And, uh, I just don't think they've been really involved there. So they're starting to get into the motorcycle started out with car audio. Mm -hmm. Uh, they do a lot of stuff for like the uh, side by sides and UTVs and ATVs and, and now motorcycles yep uh they've they've got this kit like i said they have this kit and then they've got some saddlebag lid speakers but don't have a full four piece set up for ultras yet i imagine they will soon yep um, and maybe that's why we just hadn't heard of them yet they're they're a california company they've been around since the 80s um but i just didn't wasn't aware of them in the motorcycle space until now yeah me neither so because of that we weren't sure what to expect so we got the system and uh, we did some research, and like I said, we've been in contact, great people at the company, um, but we finally got around to installing it. And again, I was not impressed. I'm just being honest. You guys will always, even though we sell it, uh, the the kit and all that, um, you always get an honest review on this channel, uh, no matter what, we're going to tell you how it is. I'm going to go out on a limb and say, out of all the systems we've installed, all the paper instructions are bad. These were horrible. They were. I'm just telling you, they were they were horrible. They and were detailed on how to remove your fairing and had <laughs> color pictures. Our, but when yeah. it got down to actually installing some of the parts of the system, very vague. And I actually said to Lurch during the install, as we're filming, I'm like, if I wasn't without, and I'm not just trying to plug our video, whatever. If you don't want to get it, don't get it. it I'm, it's there for you if you want it. Um, I. Uh, an average everyday biker who doesn't do it all the time like us, I would have been very frustrated with the instructions and they'll probably improve those. I would imagine over time as they get more into the motorcycle space. Um, uh, so there you go. I, I think they were the worst instructions out of all the systems that we've done. Um, but again, we figured it out for you and it's why not just have a video and, and get it done. Right. So, I said that to you. I said, as a regular biker, I might be a little bit frustrated at this point because we had to figure out some stuff on our own, which we know how, and Lurch being our wiring guy knows how to figure it out. So of course it's in the video, but anyways, I'll say that about it. Um, now we did get it installed. I like the build quality of it a lot. Um, it's as, it seems like the build quality is as of the quality of other like systems and competitors, which we'll talk about. Uh, the amp scene solid. Um, it is, we did have to, there is nothing in the instructions on amp adjustment. Um, so our video will show you exactly where to set stuff. There's selector switches and there's dials. And if you don't know about that stuff, um, but we got it dialed in, it will sound badass on your bike. Trust me. Um, we'll show you, uh, the, the dials and switches, but we, once we got that all figured out and, it was a little unclear. We got that figured out for you too. It was very unclear on their instructions. It did say you need to flash the system, but it said you could take it to a Harley dealer, which is incorrect. Um, it just said by a professional. I don't remember it saying anything about Harley, did it? I'll, uh, I I'll, believe I'll so. Look. But I know it did say that it had to be flashed by a professional. No, we called them and they Let said you look. could take it to a Harley dealership. That's what they said. It wasn't in the instructions, but it was very unclear whether you use techno research or whether the dealership, that's right, Matt, we called them and they said, or emailed them and they said you could take it to a Harley dealership. Cause some Harley dealerships have, have techno, techno research. research. Yeah. So anyways, it clear as mud. It's clear in the video. It doesn't tell you why you need to have a flash or what now, like on the Rockford Fosgate uh, instruction, it tells you exactly why it needs to be flashed and what you're doing, which is flattening the EQ curve. Right. Uh, with this one, it just says, um, after the installation of the vehicle's head unit must be flashed to get proper sound from the upgraded system. Yep. We actually reached out to him. Yeah. 
and they yeah. were unaware that yeah, it, it, probably because some Hardy dealerships do it. So and anyway, the, and here's and I and here's mm-hmm. what it actually says is please uh, see the following link to find a recommended HD shop that can reflash your stock system, but it's a techno research map, so right. it has nothing to do with HD. Yep. Yeah, that's why we had some confusion. Like, where do we need to take this thing, and what? How do we need to flash it? So it would have been nice if it was a little more detailed in their instructions of of what you need to do. Yep. So that would be um, again. That's why when we were making the video, I was like, "Oh, this video is going to be yes. a, a must um, for this." But the build quality, all that, really good. We got it on the bike, got it installed, got all the amp adjustment, and took it outside. And if you watch the promo video, you'll get to hear it and see it disclaimer guys and i put it in bold on the video and then i had somebody comment on it that it sounds you know a little bit they they weren't happy with the sound and there's a huge disclaimer on the video you guys have to understand and i'm sure most of you do out there have common sense that when you're playing the stereo on a harley and then i have a high-end camera even though it's a good high-end mic and i'm recording that and then i'm editing and then putting it out to you on youtube it, I can't translate that sound to you. I'm doing, we do the best we can. And there's a huge bold disclaimer that says it. I'll tell you, yeah, in the, it sounds a lot better in person. It's really crisp. You're getting some distortion in the video because that's how it's translating coming across. And you just, it, it's hard. I wish there was a better way to do it to where we could give them the exact, but there just isn't, there's no way to do it. So I have to do it that way. But we have the decibel meter in front of it, and it's on the video. That's mostly what we're doing is the decibel meter, and that's why I put the disclaimer there. It's really hard to translate. Enough said about that. I will tell you, when we got it all adjusted, at $569, I was like, holy shit. This thing, because I'm comparing it to what I have on my 14 Streetlight Special, which is a JNM Rocker XX Extreme. Now at $1,200. Now, admittedly, the Rocker XX Extreme sounds a little bit better, but it's not like mind blowing. It's not hugely remarkable. But I have had my JM for six years in my bike and it's still going strong. So, longevity, you know, we haven't had six years with the Boss Audio. I have had six years with the JM, but I was absolutely blown away by how loud and how much how much you're getting for such a budget friendly price for $569 plus another buck and a quarter for getting it flashed i mean and the what you don't need need to have a dealership do it save your money there um that i immediately knew that we needed to carry this in our store cuz stereo systems can get really expensive and not everybody can afford Twelve hundred or fourteen hundred or sixteen hundred dollars. I could not believe that they're selling this or we're selling it um, at five sixty nine. Uh, you will not be disappointed if you get the system. Um, you will be very happy with it. You will be able to hear it going down the freeway at freeway speeds, even with a full face helmet on. Um, amazing, amazing. I was blown away um, just because I couldn't believe. I think it's the price, right? Like I was like. It sounds good, but that's up there with some of the other systems. It was so comparable to like JNM or even my um, Boom Audio Stage Two is in in terms of sound quality, crisp. You know how crisp it was, how loud it was, and I think when you f- definitely factor in the price, because I think my Boom Audio was something around a thousand or eleven hundred. You know, at almost half the price, it's amazing how much sound this thing creates. So yeah, you definitely have to put that cost to um, uh, audio quality ratio uh, ratio into that equation. It's just- How much more are you getting for $600 more? Yeah. It's not worth the $600. Uh, honestly, no. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, it, it depends on what you want to do. I mean, some of those other systems, um, they, you can potentially do a lot more with them. Like I said, this is just, at this point, just a- uh, uh, two speaker system question uh from mike uh, yeah audi. i saw that yeah. good uh out of your audi uh does the amp support four speaker speaker setup yes absolutely it does it's a four channel amplifier um but in the kit it's just it just comes with the two speakers and at this point i'm not aware of boss audio having a re- rear speaker kit um for the ultras but they do still uh sell uh saddlebag lid speakers so yes it would definitely do some um speakers for the rear and at this point 
Um, I think it's fair to say um, it is a four channel amp. We did the front system. I do want to tell you that our video is very much for the front system, but I will tell you with the video, you're 95% of the way there for a rear system install. The reason I say that is we've already ha have you having the bike stripped down and it's a four channel amp. You simply, we already show you how to run the wires everywhere and put everything back together. All you'd have to do is plug in two more wires to the amp, to the rear speakers, run those where you ran the power cable and plug in some rear speakers because it's a four channel amp. So we're not using two of the, the outputs, the rear outputs. Um, and my gut tells me Lurch, Lurch is more, has more expertise in this is that you could kind of run any other speaker you wanted. Oh, sure. I, I mean, I mean you could go get another, if they, if boss audio at this time, I think they're going to add it We we have an email out to them, yeah. but I would assume that you could use a lot of other saddlebag speakers and hook it into this amp saddlebag speakers or, you know, trunk or speakers, you lower would, speakers for like the ultras with the lowers. Yeah. Right. You would just want to make sure that, uh, cause this is a forum system, they're forum speakers okay, and they can handle 150 Watts each. Cause that's what this amplifier is putting out. Yep. Good question in the chat there. Very good question. Yeah, you can definitely mix and match. People that know audio, um, when they build systems, a lot of times, especially car audio, they don't go and buy everything that's Rockford Fosgate or some other brand. You know, they'll mix and match amplifiers and speakers. You just got to make sure you use the right stuff. Yep. Very good. Very good. Let's do this. You want to ride longer? Yep. Mm, treat your ass with some respect already. Get hooked up with a premium butt buffer seat cushion. That's right. Mm -hmm. This company of bikers developed a super thin hospital grade seat cushion made of solid and elastic materials. And it's unlike gel pads that will leak if punctured and also freeze if cold. The butt buffer is designed not to slide around on your street on your seat, fits all motorcycles, installs in seconds, easily cleans, and yep, helps to dampen vibrations with plenty of models to choose from. Mm -hmm. They assure you'll have a comfortable ass when riding. Head over to the Law Abiding Biker Store and check out our full line of butt buffer seat cushions. Before we get back into this main topic, just a question from Rick Wheeler, patron Rick Wheeler. Oh, patron member, shout out. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have any experience with the new saddlebag subwoofers from HD? I'd like to start with a system like this and expand with the subwoofers later on. Uh, I don't yet. No, those are, uh, those are Rockford Fosgate, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. The new stuff that they're making. I've seen them. They've got a drop in. A subwoofer that you can drop into your saddlebag uh, requires, I think, I believe, some drilling and running some wires and whatnot. But they quick disconnect and come out. I I don't have any experience with them yet, um, but hopefully here in the near future we will. Um, but good question. That, that would require, yeah. Can you mix and match the system with that? Probably if you know what you're doing. Um, but Harley's pretty good at making all this stuff proprietary yep um if you were going to go with the harley saddlebag speakers i'd probably start with the harley system honestly yeah just, just for the ease because it'll all click together if you're going to go with the harley ecosystem i would stay in the harley ecosystem and uh, pay the harley tax uh, all the way across the board um but uh i would highly suggest not getting the harley system because you can get better aftermarket systems at this point um and it's easier to mix and match stuff exactly you have yeah. more lead way and uh, you're not tied into that. Now, the aftermarket stuff is very similar in design. A lot of it comes from the car world. Um, and so you can definitely mix and match that stuff. When you buy the stuff from Harley, um, it doesn't have the flexibility and the adjustability. It's simply just plug and play, which is nice. But you like my amplifier, it's just a sealed amplifier and, and uh, for my uh, right. stage two system. It's all sealed. There's no adjustments, no nothing. You just click it together. So it's meant to work, like I said, within itself. I, if, if you were going to go Harley, stay Harley, but you get so much more flexibility with these aftermarket ones that if you're going to build something that's going to have subwoofers, I would go aftermarket, like you said. Yep. Very good. I want to talk about a couple of things, and then I'm going to get into this. Uh, we're going to dive in just a little bit deeper and then wrap it up. But um, I do want to mention, guys, that uh, make sure – make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell icon every time those are hit another biker joins a revolution because when we hit two we're at 171,000 subscribers when we hit 200k subscribers i am going to release my full sturgis documentary for free right here on the youtube channel and uh if you want to get the uh, uh if you want to get that sturgis video now it's only seven dollars and 95 cents 795 
over at lawbindingbiker.com forward slash ride dash now, but it's easier. Share the videos around and get us 200K subs and we'll drop it for free on the channel. Also, we're very active uh, over on uh, the Instagram. Um, we're beefing that up, so make sure you go over and uh, follow us on Instagram. We're doing a whole bunch of reels and stories, stuff that we're not doing anywhere else. Um, you'll only see it over on Instagram. That's at Scrappy587. That's at S-C-R-A-P-P-Y 587. Give us a follow over there, and uh, you'll get to see a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff and things, like I say, we aren't doing anywhere else. we got the public Facebook page at Law Abiding Biker. Um, and then of course, Twitter at law abiding biker. And of course, right here on youtube.com forward slash Ryan Erlacher. And, uh, so yeah, make sure you get subbed up there and especially follow us over there on Instagram and the Facebook page, if that's your game, but I'm telling you, we're having fun over on the Instagram, doing some really cool stuff over there that uh, you won't see. Um, we're doing some YouTube shorts too. You'll see on the channel, we're pumping out YouTube shorts. And a lot of people said this, um, we're doing a lot of live stuff on the fly and sometimes it's this or sometimes it's just with the phone and uh, you got to have notifications turned on guys. So I make sure you turn on your notifications on your phone so you know when we're going live on YouTube. Um, that way you'll, uh, well, you'll get notified. There you go. Um, a lot of people were saying they wish they knew. Well, it's, it's easy. Turn on notifications so your phone gives you a little ring there and uh, you'll know when we're going live with the YouTube, um, you know, doing, doing that kind of stuff going live here and there. So uh, yeah, I think that was, all. Oh, this, we did do this on the fly, but I did put it out over all social media platforms uh, about 10, 15 minutes before we went live. I also put out um, an email lawbitingbiker.com forward slash email or live lawbitingbiker.com forward slash live is where you go. There's an email sign up form right there. And I shot out an email too with a link to see the live video. So make sure you get signed up over there on that. So with that said, let's talk about um, our some comparisons of the other systems that we've done. So let me just mention the systems that we've done that we that we have videos on. And they're all over at lawabidingbiker.com forward slash buy videos. It's just text coming in. There's a okay. fr freeze warning. My phone's telling me there's a freeze oh, warning. Lord, middle of May, freeze warning. Yeah, I know, dude. It sucks at Tired night. Shit. That's a crappy spring for us here. Um, oh, real quick before I mention those, uh, I put it in the chat. You guys got to get over, and uh, I put links earlier in the chat here. We haven't got any super chats today. You can give us super chats too, and uh, at the bottom of your chat, if you want to throw us a donation for all the free content we put out. YouTube also has a new thing, which is called Super Thanks. So check it out. Any video that we upload to the YouTube channel, if you just want to leave a donation, you can hit the Super Thanks button. It's at the bottom of the videos, and you can leave us a donation. And several people, quite a few people, have left us saying thanks for uploading all the free content. We really appreciate that, guys. So I did want to mention that. Um, yeah. So you remember what I was going to say before I got sidetracked there? Yeah, you were going to talk about the other systems. I was going to talk about the other systems. Go through them and then compare. Yeah. So, uh, here's the videos that we've done installs on again. They're all, these are all our four, some of our four purchase videos, a Harley Davidson boom audio stage two front kit. We did that on Lurch's bike, mm -hmm. a J and M rocker XX extreme front kit. That's on my bike. All right. And then a Rockford Fosgate power Harley Davidson front audio kit. We did a sounds baggers front kit a hog tunes front kit and we're always adding to that list guys and now lawbitingbiker.com forward slash boss audio is how you get directly to it so um always adding to that list and you can always check back at lawbitingbiker.com forward slash buy videos um if you want to see if we've added any new premium videos and then of course we're putting such a ton of stuff out on the youtube channel so and that Rockford kit is not the current Rockford Harley stuff. That was a Rockford Fosgate kit. Very good. Separate. I just want to make that clear. Yep. Very it's good. An aftermarket kit. So if you're going to go Rockford Fosgate, uh, I would just go instead of the Harley kit, I would just go get the Rockford Fosgate Power Harley Davidson front audio kit. You have to have that flash too. Interesting thing about the, uh, or no, that was Sounds Baggers is with the Sounds Baggers kit we installed on a friend's bike. Um, you have to have it flashed with techno research. But the nice thing about them was, is that you could buy a one-time license, a little box, and it, we show it all in the video and in the install, how to do it, a one-time license. And then it's married to that bike's VIN. 
and you get one download. So we were able to plug it in and hook the bike up to the uh, 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 diagnostic port, and we're able to flash the bike ourselves right in the garage. So it was either it was the I wish Boss Audio would do that. Alaris, I believe. Yeah, it wasn't the Centurion? I think it was the Alaris. Well, the the thing is, I I don't know how much that cost. Um, I'll look it up and, and give you an idea, but um, it might be more cost effective to just have it flash and pay somebody the hundred or hundred twenty five dollars. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. Let me look and see how much that was. Yeah, I don't remember how much it was. But it was nice. And it's nice could, you don't have to you, take your bike down or anything. That was the convenient part. You, you right. can just order it. It's ready to go. Hook it up. Flash yep. it. Also, I want to mention that you can, if you guys want, flash your system before you do the install. So yes. you could take your bike down knowing that you're going to install it and just know that your system is going to sound like crap. Don't play it. Um, and then bring your ba- bike back to the shop wherever you're going to install it, your garage, and then install it. If you want to do it ahead of time, it's no big deal as long as it's ready to accept that. So um, as far as the sound alert, you want to talk about decibel or you research? You want I'm me researching. To? Okay, you so um, on the decibel meter test, we put it up to this Boss Audio. And again, at $569, most of these systems, all these systems we're talking about here, um, aside from hog tunes, I can't remember, are in excess of $1,000. You know, the 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 twelve, thirteen, fourteen hundred dollar range, whereas this Boss Audio in our store is five sixty nine, and I knew it was loud and I knew it was crisp and I knew it was clear for again for the value that it is. But I uh, uh, we put it up against a decibel meter that we have, and you'll see it in that video if you watch the promo video. I knew it was loud, but I couldn't believe that the decibel meter was hitting in line with the Harley kit, their J and M, the sounds baggers and the Rockford Fosgate. Um, it was hitting in the same decibel levels as those systems, which cost almost double the price of the boss audio. So, um, yeah, very impressed by the decibel meter. You want, you have anything else to say about that? Yeah. That, that, uh, techno research tool that we had used is, is a couple hundred bucks. It's about 200. Okay. Two, 270 bucks. So if you're going to use it in, uh, it's in the one we got was just the small ones just for audio. Um, yes, there is some convenience in not having to travel to get it done, but I think it's better. You're better off if you got a techno research dealer close to you just to take it in and get it flashed. What I do is it's call use your techno research dealer and find out how much they charge. True. And if they're charged, cause it's going to vary big time guys for these private shops. Um, Usually they charge you an hour of labor. Ours was a buck 25, which would have been an hour right. of labor. Yep. But it might be more expensive in higher cost areas. Uh, I don't know what it costs over in Seattle or somewhere like that. Um, I would call because then you just make the price comparison versus convenience. Um, you know, is it worth it um, to buy it? And if it's two hundred dollars to get it flashed in a high cost of living city, and it's two twenty five, but you don't have to take your bike in, it might be worth the extra twenty five dollars for you. But thanks for doing that research, mm-hmm. Lurch. So you have to make that uh, uh, cost comparison there. Another freeze alert. No, my uh, new Oakley backpack has been oh, delivered, been delivered huh? cool. i believe is yes I, I think that's either that or it's delayed probably delayed knowing shipping these days dude i, I don't want to open the text um you had right now you'd mentioned hog tunes and it's about the same price five five nineteen currently for the uh, uh batwing and 549 yep. for the road glide and although the hog tunes we have a video on that it's a good kit i'm quite honestly it can't compete with the boss nope. audio nope. in sound quality um, competes in price, but not in sound quality. Com- exactly. Competes in price, but not sound quality. That uh, little boss audio is a bitchin' little system there. Uh, do we have any other questions going on here? Uh, in this, uh, again, this is a public one and, uh, we're just rolling through the questions here. No, a lot of chat, but nothing in particular about the system. Okay. All right. Um, I do want to mention, um, don't forget uh, real quick and then we'll wrap it up. Uh, I do I just got back a couple weeks ago from Santa Barbara. Uh, Hardy flew me down there to test ride both the Hardy Davidson Nightster and the Lowrider ST. And I've had those videos out for, I don't know, a week, a uh, week and a half. I did them right when I got back. Um, they're both on the YouTube channels. I put links in the chat and uh, those videos blowing up, getting tons of views. And uh, go over there and uh, check those videos out for me, guys. And uh, leave a comment, thumbs up and share it. Please share it around guys. 
with all your, uh, you know, your social media and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm, uh, I worked hard, uh, test writing those and really, really reviewing them for you and, uh, putting those videos together. So I really appreciate your support. If you get over there and check both those videos out and share them around and leave us, drop us a comment. We're really involved with the YouTube comments. So, um, we love the community over there. And then also, I we've had a Hardy sent us a a, a Street Glide ST, a 2022 Street Glide ST for 30 days, and uh, we're actually returning it tomorrow. I am in about halfway through the edit on that video, and you're going to get a full review on this channel on the Street Glide ST and whether it's the right bike for you or whether you should stick with a special model. I break it all down for you. Very thorough review. Again, turn on notifications because that video, I imagine, will be coming out in the next five five days. I Within the next five days, I hope to drop that video. Um, but we do have to return that bike, and I'm kind of sad. Yeah. I'm kind of sad because it's, oh, it's a beautiful bike. It's the gunship gray, and uh, we've had a ball with it, and we've done some really extensive testing with it. You'll see it both on the police motors course, doing some cone drills, low speed. Um, we did some suspension tests on a little bit of an uh, uh, off-road uh, road where we could test the suspension, and we do a whole bunch of cool stuff in that video. I'm having uh, uh, a ball putting all that together in the edit, but it will be coming out. So as we wind it down here, um, if there's no last questions, Lurch, do you want to give your overall opinion and then we'll we'll take it out? We do appreciate you guys being here. Uh, it what I was just amazed with was the sound for the price. I mean, that blew me away. Uh, knowing that we'd done previous systems with the, uh, the J and M, um, the Harley boom stage two, um, was trying to think another one of the other high end ones that we did, um, sounds, you know, uh, these systems are a thousand twelve hundred dollars and they sound good. No doubt about it. Uh, when we put this thing in because of the price, honestly, I didn't expect as much of uh, sound quality as we got out of it. Uh, once we got it installed and flashed and uh, dialed it in, holy crap, I was uh, blown away with it for the price. It sounds really good. It's loud. It's clean. Um, and uh, at five sixty nine, I just don't think you, you can you can go wrong with that. We were so impressed with it that we decided to carry it in our store, and we don't just, we don't back anything that we don't like. So uh, just blown away with it. If I honestly, if I uh, if I was putting a system in my bike, I would seriously consider this one. There you go, guys. And it is in the law abiding biker store. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, we put it on. If you don't want to know whose bike we put it on, we put it on Cowboy's bike. Um, uh, he's been on podcasts here and he's in some of the documentary films. Um, and, uh, on what year was his bike? He's got a 17, 17. street glide. And we, um, we took out his 4.3, boom box and put your 6.5 gt in there because you upgraded to that's the right gts yeah and while we were in there we we threw the amp and speakers in it yep and it is loud now we love our patron members by the way um we want to get to know you better we want uh to talk to you in the private facebook group we want to give you benefits and have access to everything but for whatever reason if the only way you, you want to support us is through a flat donation we never balk at a flat donation we want to thank douglas emerson tommy glenn baker of senior of Lindell, Texas, and Joe Lasader. Uh, lawabidingbiker.com forward slash donate helps put a little fuel in the Lawabiding Biker gas tank so we can keep this thing running on down the road. There you go, guys. We really appreciate you being here. We hope you had a ball. Again, most of these uh, live video broadcasts and chat are reserved for our patron members over at lawabidingbiker.com forward slash Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. But uh, we are popping them out here and uh, in 2022 for their general public. All these episodes, even this one, will eventually end up in regular podcast format. Lawbidingbiker.com forward slash app, A-P-P. You can go over there and uh, you can listen, get an app. You can listen on any major podcast platform uh, uh, of your choice and uh, hear our podcast. We've been around for nine years. It's still going strong. So there you go. Get over there and get an app. And we also have our own app over there too. It's free. The Law Abiding Biker app. It's the easiest way to listen. You can leave a voicemail right from the app call us leave a voicemail do whatever you want there pretty cool get the show notes and all that kind of stuff uh yeah thanks so, to mike audi for the super chat appreciate that oh, brother. mike audi thank you so much 10 bucks super chat super chat we really appreciate it guys here you go 
Don't get stranded, bikeaholics. Get hooked up with our Cruise Tools RTH3 Roll-Up Travel Toolkit for Harley-Davidson and America-made V-Twin motorcycles. Mm -hmm, That's right. Why would you want to get stranded and have your bike towed over a small repair? We've used it quite a bit on trips, guys. That's right. This quality-made toolkit has everything you need for roadside and emergency repairs. Tested and used by the law-abiding biker crew. Mm Mm-hmm. Yep, it has our stamp of approval. Get it already. That's the Cruise Tools RTH3 kit. We brought it right to the Law Abiding Biker store for you. Lawabidingbiker.com forward slash store. Nothing but five star reviews. Big Daddy Kane and Goat ready right now. They're just loaded, locked and loaded in the Law Abiding Biker store waiting for the orders to come in. Boom, they grab it, put some peanuts in it, put it in the box. What do they put else they put in the box? They put a good time in every box. One free good time. So when you open the box, you'll get Boing, one free. It just free pops out at you. Good time, guys. That's right. Don't forget, lawabidingbiker.com forward slash. Can you hear that? Fresh dash butt, guys. The dude wipes, I'm telling you. We're loving them, and uh, we're testing them for you guys, testing all the different flavors, so to speak. It's like your butt. It's like a breath of fresh air, Lurch. It's like a breath mint for your ass. That's right. You got to have a clean ass. Sometimes, you know, late in the day, you got to... You, you get a little bit of the mustard ass and you got to clean the undercarriage. You got to do a maintenance wipe. It's a maintenance wipe. The dude wipes are good for a maintenance wipe. And throw them in your saddlebag. Take them along with you on that ride. Lurch just got hooked up through our affiliate link. I did. And uh, he, there's singles too. Yeah. Right? There's yeah, those singles. are awesome. You can buy a little box of single pack. It's a 30 pack of singles. It's very discreet. Yep. You can just stick it in your pocket. Nobody know what you're up to when you wander off to that Starbucks bathroom. Just destroy it and then you got something to clean up with very it's handy very handy lurch gave me one put it in my jacket for me put it right <laughs> in the breast pocket i know right where it is you never yeah. know when you're gonna have a roadside emergency that's right you might want to put it in your rth3 toolkit in the roll up roll Throw up a few some, of those in there some single dude wipes in there too you just never know sometimes been there sometimes you shart i mean or sometimes you just got to pull over on the side of the road and go take a walk into the forest exactly We appreciate you all out there. We appreciate you so much.